Hello everyone and welcome to your workout for the day. Today we are using a landmine setup. So you're going to be able to do this at the gym, obviously, um, and at home if you have a barbell setup. Now there are actually landmine attachments. It's a socket where you put the barbell in. I don't have that attachment, but that's okay. All I've done is place my barbell in the corner of my squat rack. If you don't have a squat rack or the squat rack is being used, put it in the corner of a room, just somewhere where you can anchor it in there. So we've got about five different moves today. You're gonna do three sets of each for either 10 to 15 reps. I'll walk you through that. This is a great lower body workout where you can stay stationary, uh, so it won't take you too long and it's gonna be effective, like my favorite thing. So we're gonna start off with a landmine squat. I've just got a little bit of weight on here today for ease of transition and demonstration. You approach the barbell, you're gonna straddle it. I'm gonna take my hands underneath the barbell and I'm gonna interlace my fingers, but I will say between rounds, I'm gonna alternate which pinky is on bottom and which index finger is in top, just to keep everything um, evened out. So hinge at your hips, squat down, chest stays lifted, grab onto the end of the barbell, and you simply squat. So the weight's in front of you. Send your hips back and down, knees open wide, chest stays lifted, and you really might like the way your body can perform this. So you're gonna do 15 reps. Rest for about 30 to 45 seconds, and then do two more rounds at 15. Now our second exercise is very similar to this, but we're gonna add a hop to it or a jump. So it's gonna be 15 landmine squat jumps. If you need to take the weight off, by all means, go ahead and do that. Grab the bar from underneath, hands woven together. Sit back and down into your squat and jump. Land softly, knees out, heart rate getting up. 15, rest 30 to 45 seconds. Do that two more times. Now our third movement that we've got is a Cossack squat. So this is just like a lateral lunge, but we're gonna go from side to side and we don't come up. So before I grab the barbell, you go down and then you slide like a ninja to the other side. Toes point slightly out, hips stay down. Great for the butt and for the inner thighs. All right, so adjust your weight as needed. Grab onto the barbell. Start with that wide stance, probably a little bit wider than your sumo stance. I'm gonna lunge to the right first. Knee follows toes, I'm gonna stay low as I go down, or to the left I mean, over and over, over, drive those knees out, and over. We're doing 10 per side or 20 total. Really important here, ooh, that you don't let that low back arch, okay? Keep, st stay braced to the core. <sighs> stay nice and low. Very good. Now, the next one is a super cool movement like you may have seen it in a CrossFit class. It's functional and it's powerful and it takes a minute to learn. So, I'm gonna stand facing my barbell here. Feet are gonna come to a shoulder stance. I'm gonna grab the bar away from the plate, and you may not use a plate for this, you know, you have to experiment. Palm facing back. My outside hand is going to be underneath. Let me show you why. Because you're gonna do a squat, you're gonna stand and kind of curl. The weight ends up in your right hand as you rotate and press. Now you unwind, that elbow comes into the body, inside hand grabs on, palm facing and squat back down. So squat, rotate, press. Squat, rotate, press. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Really drive that weight away from you. I love this move because it really works your trunk. Again, super functional for when you're like reaching up to grab for things, throwing kids around, etc. You're gonna do 10 to 12 per side, whatever makes you tired, but you can still complete. Three sets total. Then, ah, quads, lean backs. 
You're gonna come down to the ground, onto your knees, grab a mat if you need one. Extend the arms overhead, and you wanna be underneath that barbell. There we go. Now I'm gonna keep my arms straight as I lean back, quads turn on. Press up, lean back. This is working the front of the legs, the thighs. Woo, the quadriceps. Here's what you must look out for. Don't let your butt go back, <laughs> right? It's not a hip thrust. You won't be able to hold the arms overhead if you do that. This is all about the quads. Hips stay tucked under the body. Core is braced. Inhale, lean back. Actually, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, because this is the work. Woo, exhale, lean back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, work. Inhale. Exhale. You want to go back as far as you can. You're going to do 10 of those. Unless it's too easy, then you either have to add reps or add weight, but three sets total. And then our final movement, my favorite, RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. You guys, I love a deadlift. Quads, whatevs. Hamstrings, work them all day long. So, you're gonna grab on to your barbell again. Weave the fingers. Feet, about shoulder width distance. Now with this deadlift, there's just a slight hinge or a slight bend in the knees. Hinge at your hips, spine is long, crown is forward, squeeze hands and glutes to stand, but without thrusting the hips forward and crunching in the low back. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, rise. Inhale down, exhale up. Squeeze the back of the legs. And I feel like you're screwing your feet down into the ground. So effective. Load the bar up as much as you can. So work in the entire back of the body, but also your abs. So you're definitely gonna wanna do these. Three sets of 15. And there you go, you guys. We got the front. The back, the out, and the in. One piece of equipment. Enjoy this landmine leg workout and let me know how you do. Have a great day.